Welcome back. Joining me in the studio now is Lieutenant Colonel Heidi Baker, a Foreign Area Officer. Welcome, Lieutenant Colonel Baker, and thank you for participating in this testimonial video. Can you please tell us how many years you've been a FAO and what regions, country, or countries you've been assigned? I was initially assigned the FAO badge of Latin American FAO in 2004, and this was under the old program where it wasn't a deliberate development program. And then in 2010, when it became a competitive program, I applied for and became a CENTCOM FAO and started training in 2011. Can you briefly describe some of your duties as a military attaché? Military attachés are responsible for a number of representational and advisory duties in the embassy to which they're assigned. As a military attaché, you represent your service chief, and if you're the senior defense official, senior defense official defense attaché, or SDO DAT, you represent secretary of defense in your country of assignment. Your job is multifaceted in that you represent the Department of Defense to the host nation government, you advise the ambassador on military matters, and you coordinate a variety of political military engagements. As an attaché, what would you say you spend the majority of your time on? It depends on the country that you're assigned to. I served as an attaché in Saudi Arabia from 2015 to 2017, and we spent a great deal of time organizing and participating in bilateral and multilateral engagements with the Saudi military in a number of countries in the region. Because I was assigned there during their war with Yemen and the fight against ISIS in Syria and Iraq, we were heavily involved in advising the U.S. government on the Saudi interaction um, in both conflicts. What would you say is the most challenging aspect of your job? As an attaché, you are required to balance a number of competing priorities. You work for the ambassador, for your service chief, the combatant commands, and the defense intelligence agency. There were often conflicting requirements, and ensuring we were able to meet them all was certainly a challenge. What education or training most helped you in your current job? The Joint Military Attaché School, which is a requirement for all attachés, was incredibly helpful in giving a general overview of and training for being an attaché. The National Security Studies Program at the Naval Postgraduate School provided invaluable knowledge on the history and politics of that region. And finally, the Defense Language Institute was an incredible school for language training. I spent 12 months learning Arabic there, and having spent time um, studying in different countries and different schools around the United States, it was by far the most valuable language training that, that I've ever received. What education or training did we miss in foreign area officer development education? And what do you wish you knew more about before sitting in that position? I think one of the most important aspects of working in the Defense Attaché Office is understanding how our sister services operate. While training for FAO in general provided a wealth of knowledge on the region and associated languages, there wasn't a lot of focus on the sister services or how component commands operate. So this is incredibly important and something you either learn prior to arrival in Defense Attaché Office or very quickly thereafter. There was a period of about seven months where I was the acting naval attaché in Saudi Arabia and having not a lot of experience in the operations of the Navy, being able to represent NAVSENT and the Office of Naval Intelligence for the U.S. Navy in Saudi Arabia was certainly something that I learned on the go. Have you made time for language sustainment? And if so, how have you balanced work, personal time, and language requirements? Well, I've always enjoyed language training, so this is one of the more enjoyable parts of being a FAO for me. Maintaining language currency is an individual responsibility, certainly, that you simply need to make time for. Is there any advice that you can give to a FAO in training? Focus on your language training and focus on your regional area training. It's incredibly important to understand a culture prior to arriving in a country. And a huge part of understanding a culture is through language comprehension. The Naval Postgraduate School does a fantastic job of providing a breadth and depth of knowledge on every region. Use this time wisely. Learn everything that you can about the region. Your host country will have an enormous amount of respect for you if you take the time to learn about their country prior to your arrival. Particularly if you serve in a DAO, your role as an advisor will hinge on not only your military knowledge, but also the knowledge of the country that you're assigned to or that region as a whole. All right, thank you very much, Lieutenant Colonel Baker, for your input.